You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Flamingo Land Resort, and the day has finally arrived, the official opening day of six. I can't wait to give this a go. It's been such a long time in the making. <laughs> it has indeed, because this coaster is yet to open to the public at any theme park, but it's actually 10 years old. It was 2012 this ride was originally supposed to open over in Brazil. It then never got built. Oh, it was no. in storage for a long period of time. Flamingo Land bought it. Then we had the COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, it's here, it's the 2nd of July 2022, and it's opening day. I'm really excited. Cannot wait for it. And I tell you what, they've done a good job with finishing it off, as we can see there behind us. In this vlog, we'll have on-ride footage, reviews, and so much more for this brand new edition. We'd also just like to say a huge thank you to the park for inviting us to their thank VIP so event. Much. Yeah, we've got our nice line yards on just Ooh. here. Oh, and there he goes behind oh, us. Goes. Oh, it's our first time I've seen it going round. Oh, I'm excited. But yeah, all the branding for it uh, does look great. I mean, obviously the name is certainly very different, it's but different. it's much better than the rumoured inversion, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so. You know, as much as sick isn't the name I'd have gone for. It gets people talking. It does it? get people talking about it. And yeah, the colours of it and the branding do look great. And yeah, the logo looks really cool here behind yeah, us, actually. I think it looks really good. Yeah, I cannot wait to experience it. And there it goes behind it's us. Oh, sick here at Flamingo Land. Come and join us. It's opening day here at the park. Let's go. So just before we head over to the ride, thought I'd show you the little VIP area they've got set up for us today. All the balloons there, they're all on brand. And the entrance here. Yeah, so we're going to have breakfast this morning. Yeah, really nice setup. It's great to see a proper big launch event for this new ride. And yeah, collaboration, of course, with Six Silk, who are the sponsors of the ride. Yeah, they are a clothing brand uh, that are very popular and they've sponsored this new ride, hence why it is called Six. Well, yeah, we'll head inside and shortly we're going to be led down to experience this brand new ride. Cannot wait. And we got these real sneakers in today. Woo! Just two people at the back. Oh, right. not, 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 not great, not great start. Let's begin. Have we got any real sneakers in today? Yeah! Woo! Jeez. All right. Calm down. Security. Um, obviously, you are our VIP guests, so thanks for joining us. Um, you can tell, though, you are VIPs because you're sort of shining, you're glowing. The lot of you, especially with that table there. That, that guy there, in fact. We're not very good in North Yorkshire at shouting about what we're good at, and we've been friends for a long while. Sam, the tall, and Baz, and uh, myself. And we thought, you know what, let's just tell our story. It's been a great journey for us all. There's no contracts, there's no legals, there's no lawyers, there's no accountants apart from Sam. And it, it, we've just had fun with it, and um, I hope you'll agree. It's um, absolutely, it's a world class attraction in our view, but you guys are the real judge of that. Uh, but I'd like to say it's been a pleasure working with you. Six silk, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, are you excited? Shall we go check it out? Yeah. Woo! Follow me, and we'll do the ribbon cutting. Come on! Here we go then. So we made our way out towards the ride now. Yeah, just have a little bit of information there from the owner of the park, Gordon Gibb. And yeah, here we go. Walking down towards the coaster in typical British summer weather. It is raining. It's typical, isn't it? Especially today, you know, we've had some lovely days. But no, it's absolutely busted it down. But yeah, we're going to make the most of it. I'll tell you what though, hopefully later on it's going to get better so we can get some nice shots of the coaster for you. But yeah, I love how you can walk underneath it. And yeah, you probably know it's already, you've got the misters just off to the left here, which is really nice. Look at this, makes it very mysterious. With the tunnel just down there on the Cobra Roll. Coaster itself manufactured, of course, by Intamin. And what makes this is that it's actually got lap bar restraints as well. 10 inversions. It's gonna be better with a lap bar. Oh, you're gonna enjoy it. I think you're really gonna like it with a lap bar. There goes Velocity. We're making our way now round to the ride. It is so misty round here. It's gonna be sick. So nice. Woo! Oh, you need to be louder than that. It is the launch of SIP. Make some noise! Woo! Let's get Gordon and the two missing lads out to do the official cutting. Cutting of the ribbon, guys. Do you want to join us? Three, two, one. Welcome to SICK! Woo! There you are. It is time to come on the ride. Who's excited? Woo! Please go this way. Come on. Here we go. Go through the entrance, make your way through. Yeah! You do get a free 
Straight through the shop and here we go. I love the cutting of the ceremony just there. Oh, we got a little turnstile just there. There we go. <laughs> Off it goes there on the lift hill, and yeah, it's actually a cable lift hill, hence why it's really quick up there. Yeah, obviously Colossus down at Thor Park, opened in 2002, and here's a similar layout. However, this is the next generation of tent inversion coasters. And yeah, with the lap bars, the slightly different layout, and yeah, the fact it has got the lap bars is really gonna make this. But yeah, also that cable lift hill, um, which is great, you know, it's gonna be much faster. Are you excited? Oh, I love the little uh, cut into the ribbon there. And yeah, here's all the queue line here as well. It's got lots of queue set up and it's going to need it. It has only got one tray in this ride. It's got single ride queue. There we go. Oh yeah, single ride is just there. Accessible entrance off to the left. And yeah, I tell you what, you get some great views of the ride. Hopefully it'll brighten up a little bit later on so we can uh, get some more shots of it all for you. But yeah, here we go. I do like how the queue line kind of intertwines around the coaster. have done a really good job to be honest. Yeah, all the nice flooring done down here as well. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be flying round. It looks really quick. And yeah, the rain looks like it's starting to drop off a little bit now. So fingers crossed we're going to be, uh, we're going to be all right. But yeah, all well, this is done really nice size standard round here. Got the DJ out at the front as well, which is good. And round here to the entrance to sick. Here we go. Oh, look at this. First time reaction to any of this. Look at the station. All the flags, oh, lighting in here as well. Audio playing. And yeah, it has got a British feel as well, which is cool. With the Union Jack done in black and white. And there's a look down there at the coaster. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. Whee! There it goes. What a gorgeous train with the lap bars. Woo! Quick going on that lift hill, I tell you what, I'm so excited to ride this Charlotte. We decided to wait for the front, didn't we? We thought instead of getting on that one, let's wait for the front and, uh, and get on here. And it looks like the rain's actually stopped. And I tell you what, you've got a mist effect down there as well as you come into the station, which is really cool. But yeah, it's like a nightclub in here. All the coloured lighting. It's got a very nice style to it. In a way, with the colours, it kind of reminds me of Icon a little bit of Blackpool. It's not really themed, it's stylized. Great atmosphere in here though with the music. You got all the moving heads at the top as well. And yeah, it's got to wait for the train to come round. And we'll be on the front row of Sick here on the opening day at Flamingo Land Resort. Here we go then, so we're on the front row of Sick. There's a look at the Zero car just there with the nice design, with the black and white Union Jack. And here's Charlotte. Oh, yeah, let's look at your lap bar. So you've got the seat belt that comes up and clips on just there. Quite tight though. Yeah, they are, but very roomy. You've got nothing down the side here, which is nice, you know. Very good, I do like these trains. They're very low down at the side here as well. I am so excited for this. It's Sick, opening day. It's time to ride. Here we go. Woo! Perfect timing. The sun's even come out here at Flamingo Land. We're about to speed up. Here we go. Hey! Love a good cable lift hill. <laughs> so yeah, different profile to Colossus. Instead of bending round to the left, we drop down to the left. And here we go. It's time for sick. Finally! Woo! Woo! It got really misty on the camera, but I'll tell you what, that was brilliant. Oh my God, we've just come off the front row there of six. That was incredible. It was really 
really, really good. It was smooth, it was relentless from start to finish. The fact you've got the lap bars on there really adds so much to yeah, it. Yeah, because them bulky restraints really don't make it. With a lap bar, you're so free, there's so much yeah. room to move. Especially on the front row, like you've hardly got anything around you, which is great. I've really, really enjoyed that. I can't believe, especially for a coast that is 10 years old, but obviously hasn't operated until this so point. Well. It runs like a brand new it ride, really doesn't it? Is, yeah. Flamingo Lander onto a winner with that, in my opinion. Initial reaction from the first ride, um, going down that first drop, I could oh. tell it was carrying the speed really, really fast. And then, of course, uh, dipping in and out of the tunnels with the mist effects on there. Away, yeah, it really reminded me in a bit of when Icon really had the mist working oh, on there. Gosh. It adds so much to it. It's not great for filming a POV with you, the mist. You go through, but you literally can't see anything. Oh, it's great, especially with the core screw. And right at the end, that final barrel roll oh. uh, into the mist and then back into the building was oh, no, great. Really, really good. Oh, I loved it. I really did. It was a fantastic front row ride. Great addition to this park. It, it's the best ride in this park by a long way. And I'm going to say it, one of the best roller coasters in the UK. I Completely yeah, after that initial first ride, it's right up there, uh, possibly in second place behind the icon for me. Oh, so. Yeah, after riding, because yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I knew it was going to ride great, but it is ridiculously smooth, very comfortable. It's fast, it's intense, and it's got a nice style to it. Uh, it's not particularly themed, it's the style of it that's yeah, great. It's like quite classy. But you've got to think, for Charlotte's first time going on one of these new generations, really enjoyed it. compared to Colossus. Oh, so much better. Yeah, you can't even compare it, no, you know. Uh, the layout of Colossus is something that I've always really appreciated. I don't like Colossus. But, but yeah, with this, with the lap bars, this train design, so it's brilliant, free. it really is. Oh, absolutely Can't wait awesome. to get back on Yeah, it. we're going round again. Here we go, make the most of it. Let's have another ride on sick, and we'll take you on with another POV. Here we go. Tell you what, we've just had a back row ride on sick, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was so intense as well. There's a little bit of off ride footage of it, of course, coming round through the Cobra roll, then up into the two court screws, and of course, round here into the four inversions in a row. And yeah, on the pathway here, you get a great view of the ride. Here it comes. Look at this the hang time with them lap bars. Oh. Absolutely awesome. How was your back row ride? It made me feel sick. Hey, it made you feel sick. Absolutely sick. Yeah, yeah you're tripping right through there. I feel like 
ripping, but no, it's such a good ride. It really makes it look like the lap fast. It's yeah. Like free and open, which is what you want. hundred percent. But yeah, it was definitely more intense at the back. Yes, it was. I do prefer it a bit further forward. I think we might try a mid-train ride now. Yeah, maybe seeing that section as well. We've done a front, we've done a back. We'll try a, a, a mid-train for you, but... I am really enjoying this coaster. Like, I knew it was going to be great. I did Altair at Cine City World in Italy quite a few years ago now, which is basically this ride, you know, with the lap bars and uh, the cable lifter. And yeah, I knew it was going to be a great ride. And I can't believe we've got it here in the UK. It's fantastic. And it's open. It's actually open. I said I wasn't going back to Flamingo Land until it's open. This ride's that good. It tempts me to actually get a season pass. Yeah, you know, it's really good. Yeah, this park has always been a once a, a year visit. Yeah. Now this ride's here, it could be a, a multiple really visit good. a year. You know, that's how good this ride is, yeah, you know. 100%. But yeah, we'll go back round now. We'll have a mid-train ride. And then, yeah, we'll get some more shots of the coaster. And have a look in the shop because there's something really unique in the shop as well for sick. Woo! Back round for ride number three now. We're going for a mid-train. So we start with the front row. We did a back row. Let's have a nice mid-train ride now. Oh my god, it's right racket when it comes out. It's so quick up here. Great new views there over the park and velocity. <laughs> it's all ready for Charlotte. Here we go. It's sick. You've just done 30 immersions in about 15 minutes there. Oh, it's so good. Absolutely epic, brilliant ride. It has only got the one train. Obviously it has got the track there into the maintenance shed. So you never know, they might buy a second train for it in the future. That'd be great to see. Oh, there it goes again. Just cresting over the top of that cable lift hill. We've now had three rides on six. I know, three back-to-back -back rides and I feel really sick. 30 immersions for you there, Charlotte. I tell you what, that is a spectacular coaster. Really good. Uh, no matter where you sat, it's a very smooth experience. Um, you know, through a couple of the inversions, there's a tiny bit of a rattle near the back, but you know what, nothing it's major. nothing. Yeah. Like when you compare that to the likes of Colossus, or even ride some other manufacturers like the Smiler at Alton Towers, Saw at Thorpe Park, this is so more, much better yeah. in my opinion. Definitely. And it is the lap bars. In this day and age now, for a manufacturer to really succeed and go forward, lap bars really are the future it now. It also helps people like that have got bigger builds at the yeah. top, they'll be able to ride it as well because it would have been a lap bar. 100%. Like Charlotte said earlier, on uh, the lap bar is quite tight it is, yeah. um, it's not as comfortable as a Mac rides lap no, bar. It's not. Uh, however it's still much more comfortable than having over the shoulder restraints 100%. Um, you know it, I mean if you've been on Colossus and you like the layout it's so uncomfortable. Uh, you know it, it's a great ride but it's just very uncomfortable is, yeah. uh, whereas with this you just don't get that no, you don't at all. also as well I want to talk about legroom now it's a 1.4 meter height restriction for this ride but legroom is a big problem on Colossus uh, because you obviously really the train move, can you? you can't move no. that isn't an issue on no, this uh, which is really good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not an issue. I was so excited here. It's such a good atmosphere for this opening. Uh, we have to do it in three different positions. I think the front row is the best I for me. I prefer the front row. If yeah. you want a nice intense ride, get on the back. But I think for the view uh, and also going up into some of the inversions and especially into the mist, into the, the mist front really row is the place. On the front. It's a spectacular addition to this park. And the good thing is, it's also got a single rider queue. Which is really good. Yeah, we're going to have a little look at the restrictions board, show you that. Like I say, it's a 1.4 height restriction anyway. Uh, and then we'll have a look in the gift shop shall we which is like i say it's a collaboration with six silk uh, which is a clothing brand we've also been given some clothes today by we the park have, so thank you yeah thank you very much for that uh, i'd not heard of them until this ride collaboration was announced so yeah it's nice to learn about that and also it makes the ride name seem more sense now it does yeah people understand it more it's not the name i would have picked sick however it is better than inversion and the fact that it is Easy a collaboration to yeah to be honest it is quite memorable for it's people sure. yeah a lot of people would be like oh you've been on that sick ride you know sick. the one where the test dummies fell out <laughs> yeah, people will remember it uh, because of its name. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this part that finally opened it. Um, you look at Hero just over there, I think, oh, oh my God. The 
we've come a long way this park. They built great rides like Velocity, uh, Kamali, Mumbo Jumbo, then Hero, uh, and then this. They're we back on form. We won't talk about that. We're, yeah, we're back on form, and this is a spectacular ride. So yeah, there's a look at the ride restriction board for Sick. 1.4 meters. Please remove all loose articles, but you can use chest mounts, wrist straps, as long as they're secure. If you are coming here to film on ride. And yeah, there's a look at the main entrance on the right, single rider there in the middle. Of course, the exit coming down this way, and then the accessible entrance there as well. Yeah, all the branding on the station looks really nice. The black and white Union Jack. I say black and white, it's more gray and black, isn't it? And also, they've done the lift motor down the bottom there as well, which is nice to see. And you also get some really good new views looking over Velocity, the Vekoma booster bike just here. Views that we've not really had, which is great. Does anybody remember the old corkscrew roller coaster they used to have here? That was on this site many years ago. Uh, and yeah, again, it's great to see a new ride finally on this site at the park. But something they're really good at here is doing all the flooring as well. It's not just black tarmac. Uh, if you're watching my updates from Chessington with the new entrance, this is what I was saying I wanted to see, some nice flooring like this. It goes a long way. It looks so much better than just plain tarmac. And a couple of years ago now, during the early part of construction for SICK, back when we were just calling it a 10 inversion coaster, they did repaint the supports on Velocity. And now we know why. So it all fits in with that awesome colour scheme. Right then, so we're here in the sick shop, aren't we? You need to actually enter through the shop to go into the queue line and then exit through the shop. It's like Land of Legends when I was there the other week for Hypercoaster. So yeah, you've got the entrance and exit in the shop. So the entrance is there and here's the exit. And what makes this shop really different is what's over here on the left. Well, I don't know about that, but you can do here. <laughs> Literally, there's a barber's in here. Look at this. Here we go. How cool is that? Actually, have your air cool. There's the big mirror over there. How awesome is that? This has got to be the first roller coaster, I think, in the world that's got a hairdresser's in. Like, there's a barber shop in here. Like, how awesome is that? Crazy. You've got the sinks in here and everything. Here's a look then at some of the merch for six. And what have we got here then, Charlotte? What are we looking at? It's like this little crop top. It's got six silk on there, and then it's got six on the back. Yes, yeah, so that's just printed on the back, but I think the six silk on the front, yeah, that's, that's embroidered, isn't it? Yeah. I like the embroidered stuff. Yeah, that's quite cool. What we're looking at pricing like on there. Quid. Yeah, 24 pounds for that. Not too bad, really. Hoodies look quite nice here. They are 32 pounds. Again. And it's also embroidered on the, front. on the front there as well. Got the cap there as well. That hasn't got anything to do with sick on, but that's 25. Pounds. No, yeah, it's not like ride branded that one. That's just no. the sick silk logo just on there. <laughs> Here's a look then at some more of the sick silk merchandise that they've got just in here. Yeah, they do all sorts in their clothing range. Pretty reasonably priced stuff as well. Like this. Oh, that's nice. Have a bit of a close up of that. There we go. Quite nice. Oh, that's lovely, that, isn't it? With the logo on there, Flamingo Land. There's no price. Up there on the top. Oh, we've got the curse of no price in his back. Yeah, it's not just at Merlin Parks, you know, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, of course, on ride photos are available as well, as you can see. And yeah, loads more stuff with sick and also sick silk on there as well. Yeah, loads. Got some caps over there. Yeah, it's a really nice shop actually. So look at the t-shirts just over there as well. Or with the sick brand on. Just outside here as well, you've got sick games just here. So yeah, that's a former unit that's been converted. And the logo looks a lot better like in person than it does on the branding in my opinion. Especially the big one round by the rise. Yeah, we'll have a close-up look at that. I tell you what though, it's been many years since this tunnel has been open underneath the launch of Velocity. This isn't new, this tunnel. It was here before. Um, it was put in when Velocity opened, but yeah, it's been shut off for a few years. Uh, so it's really nice to see this tunnel back in use. And you know, you don't have to awkwardly walk around the back of Velocity now. You know, I really like this little tunnel. And yeah, down here, they put some little plant pots in, which is nice just to kind of make it look more presentable. Even the bins have got Union Jacks on as well. And yeah, we'll get a few more shots now of the coaster around here. Final inversion just there, and yeah, going straight into the mist, which is really cool. And obviously for safety, whoa, velocity. You got the safety net just up under here. Yeah, we'll have a little look around here and go and uh, get some more shots of the ride, including the fountain package that they've put in. So misty. Tell you 
what the colors and the branding of it are really growing on me now like the logo here looks fantastic brilliant especially now the sun's coming out as well look at this weather it's clearing up lovely i tell you what though the park have done a great job with the media event today as well just things like the balloons just here and this actually looks like a coaster support which is quite funny <laughs> with the uh, signage on just there but you just seen some more shots of sick in action and yeah they've done a really good job with all the landscaping around here i do think this looks really nice it still feels weird actually seeing this coaster in action it really does but yeah here's another great angle they looking at them four inversions in a row and then obviously the final inversion around the corner all the mist up there as well the colors just everything about it is fantastic i'm really impressed it's a great ride for us to have here in the uk really lucky to have it Well, I tell you what, this new coaster is beautiful to look at. Feels like a long time now, and it has been a long time since we first saw this coaster go up with them yellow supports and the red track, but it looks so sleek and modern now. Blue skies and sunshine now this afternoon as well. Absolutely perfect. But yeah, all the mist really adds to it. And yeah, you've got the pond just here, a little lake coming down now into them quad. Heartline rolls, we're gonna get a nice view of it coming around this corner here now. Ready for the waterfalls. Hey! Fountain effects, absolutely brilliant. It really looks the part on that previous shot that I put in just to be going through the quad heartline rolls. It's a beautiful ride to look at. I'm really impressed, Charlotte. Yeah, I'm really impressed with what they've done with it, to be honest. It took a long time to get and, to this. Uh, the landscape and all this little pond area, really good overall experience. It's great, but I'm hungry now, Charlotte. So obviously we had breakfast this morning, thanks to the park, but uh, yeah, they're putting on lunch for us now. Yes. So we're off to go and have some lunch over in Metropolis, which is the bar and grill that's off to the left. I don't know what we're having. We don't have a clue. We've been asked if we've got any dietary requirements. Uh, obviously we've not, so we're just gonna see what we get. But uh, yeah, this is beautiful. And this is the view from up here in the queue now for Velocity. Oh, look at this beautiful cake. I hope we're getting some of this for lunch. There you go, it says happy birthday on the top. But yeah, day one. I'm sick here at Flamingo Land, look at that. I like how it's got the coaster track on there. It's had the ultimate roller coaster birthday cake with sick on it as well. Are we getting some of that Charlotte, do you think? Oh, there's some plates. There is plates, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, that's beautiful, that is. Love that. Sick, isn't it? Here we go then, it's lunchtime. What have you got, Charlotte? So I've got a chicken wrap and then I've got fish and chips. Oh, there you go. Nice fish and chips just down there. Chicken wrap. We've got chocolate brownies with strawberries there as well. There you go. Are they nice, are they? It's only a small portion, but if there's some left, you can go back up for another one. Yeah, to be honest though, yeah, you got uh, you got a nice plate full there, Charlotte, keep you going. I've got a nice fish and chips just here. Yeah, we've got the strawberries, grapes, and the chocolate brownie there as well. Got a nice uh, Diet Coke and a J2O. It's very nice in here, actually. I don't know if I've been in here before or not, but yeah, it's really nice inside here. It's literally the Metropolis Bar and Grill down at the entrance to the park. And yeah, lovely. Also, the park have uh, opened up the bar for us, haven't they, as well? They will be staying off the uh, alcoholic beverages, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really nice what they've got down here for us. What a great setup for the opening of Sick. Well, I tell you what, that food was absolutely sick. Brilliant. But uh, here we go, got my cap on just here. We've got a nice little goodie bag by the park. Look at this, with sick silk on just there. And here we've got a few things, not just uh, this to wear. Also got some nice new socks here as well. So you're going to see me out there at the theme parks with these socks, you know. But, uh, along with that as well, we've got this lovely little... Oh, it's so nice. Uh, there with some lines on. Oh, along with that, we've got an inflatable... Is it a rugby ball? Or is it a I think it might be a beach ball. Oh, I'm really not too sure. And this is really nice. This is probably the nicest thing in my opinion because it really means a lot. It's just like a little postcard and just written on it saying thank you for being with us to help launch this ride. That's They're really nice. Special things aren't they like that, you know what? Um, you remember for years to come. Yeah, so yeah, really nice with that. Along with that, we've got also got a uh, phone charger in there. 
And yeah, the magnets that we saw down in the shop, the key ring, and also the magnet there as well. And also, some rock. We're not too far from the seaside, are we? But uh, thanks to the park, we're really I like how the little there. giraffes look in here. It's all we have got there, and this will come in handy for tomorrow's <laughs> vlog coming up on the channel, because we are filming a full Domingo Land vlog as well from the rest of the park. Lost River ride, Charlotte. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's like the, the new. That's it. We can get that poncho on. We should probably get on there. But uh, no, thanks to the park. We really appreciate it. We're going to head outside shortly, round to the outside of the park, and get some more shots of Sick in action. Well, we've made our way out of the park there now, and how is your food there? Absolutely stuffed, but Sean had one of my brownies. Oh, I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, you could go and get as many as you wanted to. It was absolutely delicious, that was. And I'll tell you what, we've come out of the park now to get some awesome views of Sick. And yeah, look at this. It looks amazing from around here. And that's the good thing with this coaster. You can come out and get the views of it, and also see it from all the way around in the park there as well. It's so nice to see this running finally. And it looks so sleek, look at that. It runs with some good speed as well, up into the Cobra Roll just there. And down here into the first corkscrew. Straight into the second corkscrew. And then into the four quad heartline rolls. Wow. What a fantastic addition to this park. And what's really nice is they've actually finished off this area around here, lovely. Because yeah, if you remember from my construction videos here on the channel, um, that yeah, check them all out if you've not already seen them. We followed all the build. Yeah, all this grass wasn't here before. It all kind of looked just like that over there, you know, and obviously they're still tidying this little bit up. But yeah, the fact they've put this grass in down here is really nice and it means you get some cracking views. I'll tell you what though, we will just walk around the corner here uh, because we should get a nice view of the first drop there as well and it cresting over the lift hill. And the sun's come out now as well. Lovely. Perfect weather for it, isn't it? Lovely. And obviously over the next few months, these trees will all grow nicely around here. This time next year, it'll be like a yeah, bit of a hedge. Yeah, all the way down here. And that's the thing, the coaster is not particularly themed. It is stylized, uh, like we said throughout the video. Um, but as you can see just down here, you know, you've got like all the um, stones underneath. It's not just tarmac, you know, and the fact that they've even um, put some planting down the bottom here is great. And also where the lift motor is, that's also got the Union Jack branding on there as well, which is good to see. Because yeah, obviously it is a cable lift deal. And you know, the cable comes down from them wheels that you can see there at the start of the drop down there and then actually the cable runs into the queue line and underneath that part of the queue. Bill, yeah, we'll head around this corner and get some more shots of sick in action for you. Well, I tell you what, this weather now is perfect compared to when we got here this morning. Look at this lovely sunshine. Oh, it's gorgeous. It really is perfect to continue on our day and go and get on the rest of the rides here at Flamingo Land. Because, yes, that'll be tomorrow's vlog. We're filming a nice summer vlog here from the park, getting on lots of the different rides. And also, right near the end of the day, we will have another ride on sick, won't yeah, we? we will do, We have yeah. to tune into tomorrow's video for that one, see if this coaster really warms up throughout the day. Exactly. I'm sure it will do, though, to I be think honest. It will. I tell you what, though, Flamingo Land have done a fantastic job, not just with the ride but today's event has been great and uh, to see them putting on a good event for a fantastic coaster and just to finally see this 10 inversion into being coaster open is great it's been a long time coming it has i mean i remember you know a couple of years ago like two and a half years ago being here on the car park over winter coming down to see the zoo and watching this coaster <laughs> go up like it was crazy you know? I know i spent a lot of time here watching this thing go up uh, i was really excited when the truck arrived then when it went up it's finally open then it was the pandemic and then it came back seeing it being repainted it's open Open. it's operational get yourselves here to the park because it is one of the best coasts it's in the UK so good, yeah. you know after really thinking about it I definitely think for me it's icon at the top at Blackpool closely followed by six it's a really good ride brilliant ride experience I love the style of it and it just goes to show lap bars really are the way forward the now make an experience they do and I can't believe how smooth this ride it's is so smooth. absolutely fantastic front row is the place to be but you've got to think it's got a single rider queue something that we've not normally had here at this park it's good to see them kind of looking at that sort of stuff uh, and the general look of 
it, the theme, uh, they've really thought about it. The only thing I would add for it, in my opinion, would be some more audio around the queue line. I completely agree. Yeah, just around the uh, exterior part of the queue. Here it comes again. You certainly know when it's coming, this one. Um, but yeah, some more audio I think would be nice around the exterior part of the queue. Also, when you walk down underneath the coaster, um, where the little tunnel path is, I think some audio there would be nice. Other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. What a great addition. Here it comes again. The one and only sick. Now officially open. Finally, I never thought I'd say that, oh, no. Charlotte. Never thought I'd say it here at Flamingo Land. And of course, stay tuned for tomorrow's video here on the channel. We're going to go and get on the other rides now. Yay. Also, it's party in the park, so we've got some live tribute acts here so we'll today. Go and check that out. Yeah, as well. we'll see that on the stage. Uh, get back on the other coasters and really make the most of it here at the park. But once again, thank you so much to Flamingo thank Land. You. It's sick. It's now open, and that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep, keep on riding. riding. See you tomorrow.